Hello, this is Connie Belden, and in this video, we're going to talk about ROI, return on investment, margin, turnover, and residual income. So let's take a look at the following information. Sales are $17,100. Net operating income is $6,300. Average operating assets are $36,400. That's the average of the assets that you've purchased that are in operations making your product and you want a minimum rate of return on those average assets of 15%. So for example, if you bought a sewing machine to make clothing for $1,000, you'd want a minimum return or a minimum operating income of $150, 15% of that thousand. Okay, so let's start out with, first of all, calculating margin. That's calculated by taking your net operating income, which is given to you at 6,300, and dividing it by sales, which is given to you at 7,100. When you calculate that out, you get 0.36 something. We are going to convert it to a percentage to two decimal places. So that would be 36.84%. Turnover is just taking your sales, which are given at 17,100, and dividing it by your average operating assets, which are given to you at 36,400. And that's not converted to a percentage, you'll just say 0.47 when you take it to two decimal places. Now, the return on investment can be calculated two different ways. One way is to take margin times turnover. In part one, we came up with a margin, and for a multiplying factor, it'd be 0.3684. And in part two, we came up with turnover of 0.47. So if we multiply that out, we get 0.17 something, or in other words, 17.31% when we carry it out to two decimal places. The other way that you can calculate it is since sales is part of both formulas as a nominator and denominator, you can eliminate that. And you could take your net operating income, which is 6300 and divide it by your average operating assets, which are 36400 And that would also give you 17.31%. So either way works for a calculation. Now, remember the required minimum rate of return is 15%. We're making 17%, so we are making a bigger return than what's required. How much is that dollar-wise? That's your residual income. To calculate it, take your operating income, which is 6300 and we'll subtract our required return. Our required return would be 15% of the average operating assets. So I will take the average operating assets of 36400 times 0.15. So that would be 6,300. When I multiply 36,400 times 0.15, that gives me a required return of $5,460. I had a net operating income of 6,300, so therefore if I subtract, my residual income is $840. Next, let's take a look at transfer pricing. I think pretty much of it is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend any time on this one as far as video-wise. Take a look at it and take a look at your answers on it, and I think that would be pretty self-explanatory. Thank you very much.